Now that we know how to query data from our AppSync API, let's look at how to perform mutations. The first thing we'll do is we'll import the GraphQL mutation helper from AWS AppSync React. Next, we'll define our mutation. The mutation we'd like to create is create to do. The create to do mutation will take in two arguments, the title and the completed values. Next, in our class, we'll go ahead and create some initial state, setting a to-do value as an empty string. We'll also add an add to-do class method. Here, we'll check to see if this.state.todo is equal to an empty string. If it is, we'll return from the function. We'll then create a to-do object, setting the title as this.state.todo and the completed value as false. We'll then call this.props.createToDo passing in the to-do. This.props.createToDo is a prop that we'll be creating and passing down as a prop in just a moment. Finally, we'll call this.setState resetting to-do to an empty string. In the render method, we'll have an input component that has an onChange method that we'll call this.setState setting the to-do value equal to the event.target.value. It will also have a value of this.state.todo and a placeholder of to-do name. We'll then create a button with an onClick handler that we'll call this.addToDo. Finally, in Compose, we'll add another argument of GraphQL mutation. GraphQL mutation takes three arguments. The mutation, the query so we can update the UI with an optimistic response, and the type. Now we should be able to test this out. Open your terminal and run npm start. We should be able to now create new to-dos and have them show up in our UI with an optimistic response. If we refresh the screen, we should see the data still rendered to our UI, showing that the data has indeed been stored in our database. One of the most powerful things about the AWS AppSync client is that it actually works offline. To test this out, let's open the console and click on the Network tab. Here, we can set our app as being offline by clicking offline. Now, if we create a new to-do, we see that our UI has been optimistically updated, but no network request has been initiated. When we unclick offline to put our app back online, we see that the network request has now been executed.